everybody, this is the awesome MCB here, and today we're going to be taking a look at, looking at McAfee. Now, I personally have heard a lot about McAfee, and I has I've seen that on some websites it's rated as good. So, of course, usually we're just going to take a look at the usual tests and see if that is true or not. When it been based on detection ratio and protection, as you recall, like. You, if you recall my ESET video in the past, it was really well, but in the recent tests, it has not, it did not perform very well. So let's see if McAfee can do better. All right, so everything has been set up by default. Um, I'm using the total protection version because that was like the easiest one on the website. But usually by by website, it's um, but usually by like version, it's most likely gonna vary on what it is but as for detection ratio and protection it most likely won't make too much of a difference so of course usually we're just gonna check for updates as usual and there we go as we See the update has been completed. Even it says the and now it says the last update was at 1:09 p.m., which it matches down here. So uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get right into this test. So as usual, I whoops. As usual, I have the five links here. So let's go ahead and start getting on with this. All right, here we go. First link. Oh, there it is, and we already have a, a block, so we're just going to block the download. Next link. That seems to be dead. That one was also blocked. Final one. It looks like this one's gonna most likely also be a block because it looks like the name is pretty much the exact same, so it most likely is gonna detect the same. I don't know. Download looks a little bit bigger this time. Either that or the website trying to download off of is slow. Yeah, and that one was blocked anyway. So, I mean, typically only the four of the te link tests were well, th three of the link tests were done, but. It's going to be good enough. So it turns out it's got a clean sheet. All it does before it actually has, grabs the, once the file is downloaded, it actually will then block it. It doesn't protect from the website, like, until the, the, the piece of malware that is on the computer. So, yeah. All right. Well, now we got that done, we're going to temporarily disable the shields, and I'm going to go get the samples to start with the next test. All right, we have our samples now. We have a total of 192. And these samples are about one to two weeks old, so should be a pretty well t test to go. I'm, usually I would try to get the samples a little bit more newer, but currently the website I get my samples from has doesn't ha hasn't updated them for a couple weeks so these are going to be the best samples we have for now so let's just do a right click scan all right so it's we have finished scanning that was pretty quick um they all say they're unable to delete um i tr i've also tried turning on the main shield but it's not oh okay what's going on here let me see if I can actually get this to work some items cannot be easily to please restart and scan your PC again at the prompt persist contact technical su support okay so I guess that's what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to restart this machine to remove these which we will do all right, now that we've actually restarted the computer, let's see if we can actually get this working. Oh, 
Okay, that still didn't work, so maybe we should just try running a full scan and see if that will fix it. This will take a bit, though. So to try running the full scan, it, uh... Let's just say that it didn't work. So, even though it said there's 196 remaining issues, there's 192 in here, I don't- I can't even give it a detection ratio even based on the scans it found because you gotta remember sometimes one file will have more- like more than one malicious infection in it. Or file, whatever, but... It- yeah, so for a detection ratio, I don't know. But without the detection ratio, let's actually see if we can get the, uh, we can actually just try to, just try to run it with that, with itself. Oh, whoops, I accidentally started the cookies and trackers, but luckily that's not going to affect the test. So let's just try running some of these. I'm not going to run all 192 of these. Let's just go ahead and try and see what it can do on a real-time protection ba base. Alright, now that we have selected some of the samples, let's try restarting and see if it will remove the ones that it was infe it saw infected or if it completely fails. Alright, so even though it's restarted, there is still files here that matches the same, so let's go ahead and take a look at Process Explorer and see what we can find. not saying anything but so the thing is here it's able to see if something's running and then stop it from running completely however it requires a restart and you can't really remove them which is not usually a best solution so what are my final thoughts on this I'm gonna say I'm not very impressed even though that the detection ratio at first was high, it was not able to remove any of it, even though that nothing was running in the background, so... I'm gonna have you guys decide. What, is this good? Is this not good? I'm gonna think I... I think it's pretty much failed the test, because... Usually when it comes to antiviruses, one of your main concerns is you wanna make sure it protects you against it. But, which it did, but as causing as removing... The, the threat it failed that so I'm gonna have you guys be the judge of that so I hope you all enjoyed this test and you have enjoyed this test be sure that like button down below and if you're new around here be sure that subscribe button hit that bell icon for notifications and I'll talk to you all later